instructional video number nine, uh, which I think is going to be the final uh, video in this series here. I did an earlier recording which I realised the painting was the wrong way around and Facebook Live camera on my setting had reversed it. So I've got it the, the proper way around this time. So I'm just going to quickly go over what stage I've reached at now. Uh, you may have followed me from the site visit right through to the preparing of the canvas and uh, the type of paintings that I'm interested in and then uh, reaching various stages with a pastel sketch and moving on to the painting. Well, I have been a few days now working on the painting and I've worked up the texture quite a bit. And the subject here is St Vincent's uh, Chapel in Stockbridge and this uh, big church here is called St Stephen's Church. So it's a kind of contrast of architecture here very much. Now, I would describe myself as an expressive artist. I quite like uh, putting the paint on quite broadly and poetical, if you like, emotionally. Uh, I leave the subject uh, from the, in the early stages where I'm referencing it closely and uh, let it kind of happen in the head, let it happen in the mind in the use of uh, the paint and texture. I love to use oil paint. You may have followed my methods of using it quite thinly applied to the canvas on a toned ground. In this case, the ground was an orange ground. Uh, which I wouldn't have chosen originally because of lockdown. I had difficulty sourcing canvas, but I took what I had. And uh, it has worked out quite well because I've got this underlying warmth that comes through even in some of the colder areas up in the sky too. Now, I work uh, from thin to thick, starting off with a monochromatic uh, mixture of paint drawing on the canvas almost. And then as I go on, it builds up thicker and thicker. And uh, these are the more recent bits I'm painting just right in here at the moment where the paint is quite thick. I'll give you a closer look uh, later on uh, at the end of this. It's just going to be a short uh, description. Uh, the way I paint is I go all over. I don't actually put in the sky first of all, uh, draw in the shape of the buildings and then carefully start to uh, put it together. Um, I have an overall approach where I do a bit of sky, a bit of building, a bit of street. A bit of street furniture, I love putting in the street furniture, which is the double yellow lines and drain cover and bollards and the no waiting signs. Sometimes these are the things that people would leave out of the picture using artistic license, but my artistic license to, is to uh, include these uh, warts and all, if you like, even the little lamps and the architecture in Edinburgh, which I love, which is this... Uh, what we call Craigleith sandstone. It's uh, bright, it's uh, sandy coloured yellow. And um, it's just a great vehicle for me to enjoy the paint and the surface and the texture of the paint. So the, I work all over. Now I eliminate white for as long as I possibly can right through the picture until I feel I'm struggling and I really, really need to use it. Um, so I start with the monochromatic and then I will use lemon yellow, probably, and a little tint of, uh, of white, lemon yellow and white, uh, not white, sorry, lemon yellow, uh, I'm going against what I was describing, you know it's a live video when I say that, um, <coughs> to use instead of white, if you see what I mean, just to sort of lighten the other colours. Uh, and then I, I gradually introduce the white towards the end, so it's like um, the special thing that you're aiming at is to when you reach the stage when the white comes in as highlights, it's like the icing on the cake, it's like the finishing touches that you put to the picture. I'm a great admirer of painters like Cezanne and Van Gogh and the Impressionist artists as well. And uh, I love using trees, having trees in the picture. Now I'll just bring you a bit closer, a little tour of the, of the painting and you can see the texture of the paint, it's uh, quite heavy and there's uh, kind of mauve purple in some bits and then more sort of greens and you can see this lemon yellow where I was using in the early stages uh, instead of the white and then I gradually introduced the white in here as well. Uh, the further away bits uh, I am working at the moment, I'm happening to make the paint a lot thicker in this little street that's disappearing around the corner and it's even thicker than what is supposed to be in front of it here. And that is all about painting, how you can play about with edges and shapes and things like that as well. 
and down in the seat furniture, we've got the double yellow lines going around the corner here on the paving. And this is where I'm going to sign the picture eventually. It's quite thick. It's still quite wet, so I'm not going to touch it. And the drain cover here. Yeah, uh, I like all of that and the kind of cobbles. It's a good sort of excuse to have a more pattern decorative effect in certain places with the uh, kind of architecture in the church as well. These little pillars and further up the sort of grid and all of that is quite decorative and connects with the, the cobbles and stuff like that. So I do distort a bit. I tend to bend the perspective a bit, but uh, I had a thorough grounding in the Dundee Art College with regard to perspective and uh, I always uh, watch that, that it doesn't go beyond a certain level. Well, that's just me. So I'm quite pleased with the picture. It's uh, done what I wanted it to do. Still got a bit more to do in it, not much. You see it really in its final stage here. Uh, what I will do to it next, you probably wouldn't notice, but it's, a, it's difficult for an artist to know when to stop. Uh, that can be one of the most difficult um, points in in my painting and uh, you can get to the stage where putting more paint on is actually like taking something away uh, instead of adding to it so you've got to be very careful about it so you can see it's quite colorful and that's me that's my colors that's what i like to do i do sell my work i tend to get it sometimes made into print forms uh, when it's not uh, bought as an original piece, but I'm hoping to have an exhibition fairly soon uh, with a lot of the work uh, which are Edinburgh um, street scenes and buildings and places familiar to people. So uh, my website is MikeTuppyPaintings.com if you're interested in looking at all the videos in the series, and this is number nine. This is the last video in the series, and it seems appropriate because Edinburgh is coming out of uh, lockdown gradually, Scotland is. Uh, it's quite grey and windy just now, and uh, I don't know what it's like where you are, but uh, perhaps you've got a bit more sun. Uh, but uh, it's been rather mixed in terms of weather, but we do get quite a lot of sun in Edinburgh as well, believe it or not, and that was one of the most sunny days. It took me out of lockdown somewhere else, and... Uh, I know there's quite a few people who are uh, starting to paint in oils and I hope you've got something out of this in the stages and look back in the other videos. Okay, so I wish you all the best for now and uh, keep safe and uh, bye for now.